Hey, I was actually looking into like volunteering today because I woke up at six and didn't have like shit to do because I we don't have a computer. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, man, they, people probably need help like volunteering. I could, vol I would love to just walk around for like four hours on a Saturday every two weeks, pick up some garbage or something like that, chop some vegetables in a soup kitchen. Apparently, I didn't know this, that shit is all full. Now, because everybody wants to do it. So, if you want to be a volunteer, you need a fucking PhD, and then you can go to the community center and you can teach, uh, you know, quantum physics to senior citizens for free instead. Oh, oh, you want to you wanna walk around and pick up trash with like a neon vest on? Guess what, motherfucker? That's like an eight-year wait list. Oh, but are you a cardiac surgeon? Because we're looking for volunteer cardiac surgeons to do uh, aortic valve replacement down at the community center on the first Tuesday of every month. It's fucking crazy, man. So you will not catch me picking up, <laughs> picking up the trash. <laughs> Just pick up the trash? Well, if you do it through the city, they give you a vest so the cars don't throw grimace milkshakes at you. And they give you one of those little sticks that you can use to pick up the garbage. I'm not doing it for the merch, but I'm like, if I'm going to be picking up trash, I'd like to have a stick. I'm not, I don't want to buy the stick myself. I'm donating my time. <laughs> Just buy a stick? They should fucking give me a stick. I'm volunteering. Would you donate money to buy a stick for a volunteer? I guess I would. I guess I would donate money to buy a stick for a volunteer. NL, you the kind of guy who would try to, cherry as, try to carry as many folding chairs as possible during a volunteer event? Absolutely. That's what I want! Like, when I was looking for, for how to volunteer, isn't there just, like, a place you can go and be like, don't, don't you need somebody to just, like, lick stamps or something like that? I would love to show up to a charity two times a month and lick stamps for, like, six hours. Or, like, lick envelopes or whatever. But I honestly think that that's what I'm realizing. There's too much demand for that kind of work. What they need is people that are like, we're going to do like the logistics. They need people that are going to run the fucking show and like do shit that nobody wants to do. Everybody's like, if they're volunteering, everybody's like, I want to chop the carrots, you know? I, I want to, I, I would volunteer at a soup kitchen for sure, but I don't want to do the ladling. Because I'm not like a social butterfly. But I would love to be in the kitchen chopping up celery. I'm, a celery, I'm really, you got to probably graduate to the celery cutter. Because that's easier on the joints. They're probably going to start you on potatoes or something like that. I'll be like, oh, we got fucking carpal tunnel syndrome. Cutting up these damn potatoes. Oh, how'd, how'd you get the job as the person slicing the celery? Oh, my dad started this. So fuck you. Give me that celery. Shit drives me crazy, man. Same thing, I was thinking I could, maybe I could volunteer at the library, but I'm like, I bet that if you volunteer at the library, they're not like, hey, put these stacks of books away. They probably got like 10 years of uh, wait lists for people to put books away in the library. They'd be like, hey, guess what? The fucking shitter exploded. Get in there. <laughs> oh, no, again. Shitter's clogged. And then there was another one... I saw that was like, you can drive senior citizens to like their medical appointments. And I was like, I could do that. But then I was like, ah, it's probably annoying sometimes. You gotta like talk to them on the way to the hospital and stuff like that. And like, that's not what I'm here for. I'll just put, I'll be the guy who drives with his AirPods in. <laughs> like, buddy, I'm just here for the, I'm here for the solitude of the drive. There's another volunteer that'll come and listen to the story, okay? It's just, I just, I'm not saying you shouldn't be allowed to tell it. I'm just saying it's not, it's not my area of expertise, okay? Also, I'm like, I don't want to... I don't know where to park. <laughs> Got to call them on the phone and be like, where could I park? And I bet they're not going to explain it that well. They're going to say some shit that I don't interface with. They're going to be like, park on the north side of the building. And I'm going to be like, what fucking side is the north side? Let me get out my astrolobe. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making shit up, basically. 
I'm like, I want to do stuff. And then like all the stuff that I think I want to do, I'm like, I don't want to do that. Are you crazy? I have to be stupid to do that for free. You got to pay me for that. <laughs> but all this shit that you would do for free is already taken by other people who started volunteering in like 1991. Yeah, like, I, my my dream for volunteering, I guess it's naive, but it's kind of based on, like, when you would volunteer for shit in, like, high school. Like, don't they just need somebody who's, like, good at mental arithmetic that can man the, the cash box at the bake sale? And then I'm like, well, cookies are $2 each or three for five. And then they're like, I'll take three. And then they give me a 20 and I give them $15 back. Like, that's my dream volunteering job. It's true, or you could woman the cash box as well, of course. Get a job at a grocery store? No, I just, like, because then they're going to want you to show up, like, whenever. My ass just kind of wants to be like, I don't have anything to do today. <laughs> but then I'm like, uh, I, rem I remember now that I'm like, oh, I have a kid. So, well, trust me, that time will get filled. Mm, let me be, like, a cartoony pianist. Pianist. Man goes without his PC for one day and loses his mind. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's actually a perfect encapsulation, I think, of what happened. I was like, oh, I've got an hour of free time. Maybe I should volunteer for the rest of my life. <laughs>